Hi, Mike here. When it comes to formatting a pivot table, most people do it manually. But by using pivot table styles, you can apply formatting to a pivot table with a single click. If you don't like how it looks, simply choose a different style. In addition to the built-in styles, you can create your own styles, which is what I show in this video, along with how to copy a style from one file to another. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. For this video, I'll be using Excel on the Mac, but the process is the same in Excel for Windows. Here I have three pivot tables. For two of them, I haven't done anything to them apart from changing the text of the headings to something more meaningful and changing the column widths. The other pivot table, you can see I've changed the background color of the cells and the text color of the header row and the total row. To apply a style to a pivot table, select a cell in the pivot table and click on the design tab on the ribbon. On the Mac, hover over the styles panel and a little drop down arrow appears. On Windows, the arrow is at the bottom right hand corner of the panel. Click the arrow and select a style. I'm just going to scroll through the styles. You can see them all here. And I'm just going to randomly pick one. If you don't like the style that you've picked, simply repeat the process. So go back, click the arrow and pick a different style. To clear the style from a pivot table, click on the arrow in the styles panel and select clear at the bottom of the list. To create a new style, you can either duplicate an existing style and then make changes to it, or you can start from scratch. It's worth pointing out here that you can't make changes to the definition of the built-in styles. If I right click on one of those styles, you'll notice that modify and delete are both grayed out. What I'm going to do is create a style from scratch. So I'm going to click on the little arrow and click on new pivot table style. I need to give a name to the style, so I'm going to call it Mike style one. To create a style, you select the appropriate table element from this list here. You click the format button and then you define the style and click OK. There are limitations as to what formatting can be applied. You can't include the font. You can't include the font size. For example, they're grayed out. You can't include alignment. I usually align my headings to the right so they're lined up with the numbers, which is exactly what I've done with these pivot tables here. So back to the elements. Each item in the elements list represents a part of the pivot table. For example, report filter labels refers to the filter heading. So in this pivot table, A1. Report filter values, that refers to the cell containing the actual filter value. So in this pivot table, it's B1. If I scroll down a little bit further, header row. Header row refers to the row with the headings. In this pivot table here, it's rows three and four. In this pivot table, it's A17, and B17. The grand total row, I scroll down, there's the grand total row. For this pivot table, it refers to row 25. One of the problems is there's a lack of documentation as to what each element represents. Whilst prepping for this video, I came across a blog post that explains which part of a pivot table each of those elements represents. So I've put a link to the post in the video description. Now for this demo, I'm going to keep this fairly simple. I'm going to start by applying a style to the report filter labels. So I'll select report filter labels, click on format. Now this is slightly different on the Mac to Windows, but as I said, it's very, very similar. I'm sure if you're a Windows user, you can work out what you need to select. For the background color, I'll click the drop down arrow. I'll go to more colors and I'm going to change the hex color. I'm going to use 008037. 
that is uh, my Excel trainer green. So I'll click on OK. And for the text, I'll go to font and I'll set the color to white and click OK. For the report filter values, I'm going to change the background color of the cell. So I'll click on format, I'll click on fill. And for this one, I'll choose a light green and click on OK. And then for the grand total row, which is down at the bottom, click on format and set the background color of the cell to, I'll use again, 008037. I just happen to know the hex code of my green and click on OK. And then for the font, I will make that white. I'll also make it bold italic and click OK. Once the style has been defined, it appears in the pivot table styles panel. So if I click on the little arrow at the bottom of the panel, we now have a section called custom. So if I now click on my style, you can see my style one, click it. It then applies the style to that pivot table. I'll also apply it to this pivot table here. So select one cell in that pivot table, go up to the styles panel and click on the name of the style. I now want to modify the style. I forgot to include the header row. So if I right click on the style in the panel and select modify, go and find the header row, click on format, click on fill, and for this one, I will choose a blue color just to make it different. I know it won't look great, but I'll do that. And then for the font, I'll make it white and click OK. And OK again. And you can see as soon as I do that, it updates the style. Now, what happens if you want to apply a style to a pivot table that's been manually formatted? So you can see my third pivot table I've manually formatted the header row and the totals row. If I click in that pivot table and then I go to my styles and I click, it doesn't do anything. It's actually removed the bold by the look of it from the header row. But apart from that, it hasn't changed the colors. That's because the cells have been manually formatted. I selected those two cells and then I applied a yellow background and a a red text with those two buttons there. So what you do in that case is you select a cell in the pivot table, go up to design, and then bring up the list of styles, right click on the style and select apply and clear formatting. So what that will do is it will apply the style and clear any manually applied formatting. There we go. Finally, what if I wanted to use the style in another file? When you create a pivot table style, the style is only available in the file it was created in. You can copy a style to a new workbook or an existing workbook. So what I've got here is I've got another file that's already open called pivot table styles two. It's got some data in it and it's got one pivot table that's had no formatting applied. So what I need to do here is copy the sheet containing the pivot table that has the style applied to it. I need to copy it to the other file. So I'll right click on the sheet called pivots. I'll select move or copy. Tick the box that says create a copy and copy it to pivot table styles two, and click OK. I'm now in pivot table styles two. I can actually delete the sheet with the pivot tables in that's been copied across. I don't need it in this file, so I'll just delete this sheet. And then if I click into the pivot table, go up to the design tab, look at the list of styles. There is my style that was copied across from the other file. All I have to do is click on the style and it applies it to that pivot table. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.